Well, good morning, everyone. How are you? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. We are rolling out of King County. I swear the sun's out today. It's going to be a beautiful day. We're just in the trees right now. And I will let you know that as this video moves on, you're going to see everything change drastically because we are going from the northwest, the west half of the state, to the middle of the state on a new route. So uh, pretty soon here, we're gonna be hopping on I-90 and heading straight east, finally, yes. Yeah, thanks for joining me guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet link below in the video description if you're looking for some mobile unlimited internet. It's been great being back. Uh, loved hanging out with family and friends. It is time for new adventures in new states. So we are going to go uh, play in the mountains. Yeah, I-90 East goes through quite a few uh, snow passes. There's no snow this time of year. Uh, but either way, we are going to be going through the passes for the first time this part of the country in uh, Frida. Join the car. Thanks for joining me, guys. Oh, look how dark it got again. Uh, I guarantee you that uh, I am going to miss the Pacific Northwest here, especially since I will be in a different part of the country next summer. But, you know, most of my family that I hung out with uh, moved out of the state. Of course, I'll come back for my friends, and this will always be home. I love all the tall trees, but like I said, uh, it's time for new adventures, and I'm looking forward to it today. All right, where are we gonna park? Where are we gonna park? Bus RV parking. All right, um, I've never been in this area when it's not full of snow. Uh, Snoqualmie Falls Park, of course, Snow Snoqualmie is, is famous for uh, snow skiing, and I've been up here plenty of times in the winter when this is all covered in snow and there's chairlifts and everything, but, um, Where's all my Twin Peaks fans? You guys remember that show? Yeah, Twin Peaks aired uh, only for two years, two seasons, 1990 and 1991. But uh, if you remember the intro, I'll show part of that right now. Supposedly, and of course I haven't seen it yet, but we're about to get close here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. So right there, of course it was a much lower shot, so it was probably shot like down there or something, but uh, Snoqualmie Falls looking really good right now here in August, which is kind of surprising because most of the snow melt's already gone. Let's go over here so we've got a better view. Let's see here. Oh yeah, this is a better view. Holy cow. So this is the uh, upper observation. There is a trail that'll take you, you can't see it, but down there, you can get a different view. Awfully pretty here. I'm glad I made it out here. My dad watched uh, Twin Twin Peaks live as it was airing those years. I remember, remember eating TV dinners. We don't call them TV dinners anymore. How come? I love that. I still eat TV dinners to this day. We'd watch, we'd watch Twin Peaks. And then um, I know it was a weekday because we'd also watch Jeopardy and then Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> But yeah, man, it's a beautiful state, man. When it's not raining, it's a beautiful state. <gasps> and there's a gift store back at the top. Maybe get a magnet. All kinds of stickers. I know a lot of my viewers collect stickers, but I mean, I guess you could turn it into a magnet. I love the kitty cat <laughs> with the balloons. But, oh. Yes. That is an awesome magnet. There's the falls. That's the one? That, yeah, that's the one. Last one. Last one. I wonder if uh, people are floating the Snoqualmie River. I don't know. I mean, obviously you're gonna stop at the falls, duh. But I mean, I wonder if there's certain routes that people float around here. I don't know. Just in a couple miles here, we will uh, feed off 202 East and hit up I-90. I don't see any tubes in the water. Hmm. Oh, lots of railroad machinery off to the side here. Looks like it's been here for a while. Like cranes and stuff. Wow. I guess that's its final resting place. 
actually. I wanna pull over and look at this. Man, I am really in a good mood all of a sudden. Like seriously, I'm just, I'm so excited about the future and traveling and just, it's gonna be a good day, guys. I believe there's gonna be a spot to uh, cross over this fence up here a little farther. Yep. Get a load of this log. Oh my gosh, it's freaking huge. I mean, it's up on a rail car a little bit, but still, that's a big log. And I've never seen these uh, train cars that haul these big logs, but you can see how it holds onto it on the, on the side there, though. Look at this thing. This log has got to be four or five hundred years old. Whew. You can see how tall it is. No information anywhere about what it's... Hang on. That's a weird place for it, but Snoqualmie Centennial Log. Oh no, so this log was on its way uh, to Seattle through Snoqualmie Pass and the railroad never reached the pass until uh, 1890 when the Snoqualmie Depot was built. A rival point for tourists coming to hunt, fish, and view the already world famous Snoqualmie Falls. So there you go, there's the, there's the history of why this sat here. I am hungry! Let's go get some breakfast. Before we leave this area though, I'm gonna try to find something, one more nod to, to Twin Peaks, the TV show. I think the Double R Diner is still, it may have changed, but I think it's still around and we can go eat there from the TV series. I believe so. All right, we're in North Bend. Good news and bad news. Uh, good news is, it's still open in front of us here, but it's not called Double R Diner, obviously. It's, and I can't park right here because of that tree. It's called Tweeds. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, find somewhere to park and then we'll walk. It's kind of what you have to do in an RV. You, uh, you usually do not get to park very close to anywhere you're going. <laughs> it's good exercise though, right? I don't mind it. Okay, actually this is good because this building's for lease. There's nobody even here. And I'm not gonna hit that tree right there. So this is, what does that say? No parking 8-4, August 4th? Well, it's not August 4th, so we're good. So granted, this place would look a lot different covered in snow. Look at that huge mountain off in the distance. Yeah, it is 85 degrees this morning already. It's gonna be a hot day in North Bend, Washington. All right, there it is, Tweed's Cafe. It still looks cool, but for purpose of today, I'm going to call it the Double R Diner. Also next door, they've got the uh, Twin Peaks Pub there. I love all the little nods to the show. Let's go in here and order some food. Let's check it out. Oh wow, that's cool. Before I even sit down, look, they got magnets. That's awesome. Quite a few to choose from, actually. Oh, look, RR with a fine cup of coffee and some cherry pie. That's the one. I like it. it. It still feels like the same, even though it's got a different name. It's a damn fine cup of coffee. <laughs> you know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. All right, breakfast just arrived. Scrambled eggs, hash browns, because there's no tater haters here, bacon, and uh, an English muffin there. If it looks red, <laughs> it's all part of the experience. That's the red neon on the ceiling there. <laughs> it checks out too. Checks out. Mm, mm. Pretty tasty breakfast. Better not could have done in the RV. They're out of cherry pie. It's like sacrilege. <laughs> oh well. Hey, I've got, I've now got two magnets before 10 a.m. It's gonna be a good day. All right, well, off to our right is the first of many chain up areas. There will not be any chaining up. 71 minutes to Ellensburg. Frida's doing good, holding 65 mile an hour towing. So, um, should be good. I'll let you know any updates. Okay, so I'm down to 50 miles an hour and the cars are still doing 80 uphill. Uh, we're at 3,500 feet now and still climbing. Ears popping. Frida's doing good. Ah, uh, my butt is numb. My legs, my thighs are numb. What is it with this seat? It looks so comfortable, but it really is not. I gotta take a break. 
we're gonna stop here in Ellensburg, Washington, central Washington. There's a pilot, which, I mean, I might as well top off fuel here because it's kind of a pain in Oregon where they pump your own gas and, um, so yeah, we'll take a break here in Ellensburg. All right, I guess this is Friendship Park, <laughs> the smallest park I've ever been to. Two benches and uh, two benches, that's it. <laughs> and a chimp. Oh wow, there's a little plaque here talking about Washoe. Washoe is a uh, famous chimp here, actually. The first chimp who ever learned sign language. What, is, what does this mean? Maybe Amanda, my friend Amanda from uh, St. Augustine knows. What are you saying there, chimp? Well, that's cool. Also here in central Washington is uh, Central Washington University, which is one of the colleges that I considered. I even visited the campus, stayed here uh, in a motel overnight to uh, look at the program. And of course, I picked the Evergreen State College mostly because of the convenience factor that, well, it's, it's in Olympia, but man, did I regret that decision quickly. <laughs> okay, over here at the Rotary Pavilion. <laughs> <Is> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's, that's great. We, we can sit next to the bull. Yeah. He doesn't look very happy. You, you could at least smile. The sun shines out. You're not getting rained on. When does this say? Ellensburg Bull by Buyer 1986. Okay, and why aren't you wearing your cowboy hat, dude? Why, 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 aren't, why aren't you wearing it? Just chilling? My what big hooves you have. I think I need to get a picture with him. I asked somebody, a nice uh, college student took that picture and then I asked him if there's anything else walking distance quirky or unusual. So we gotta go down here past the skate park. This is a really old main street, but uh, I love this. They, they've changed this to an Ace hardware, but they kept the Woods hardware neon sign out front back in the day. Of course, Ace and Do It Yourself, Do It Best uh, has bought out a lot of these smaller mom and pop hardware shops, including the one in Olympia. My friend Sandy works there at the Olympia store. I think she still calls it Olympia Supply, even though these days it is basically an, an Ace hardware, but uh, all us locals still call it Olympia Supply. All right, here's the uh, skate park. That was that was more than two blocks. That was closer to like six blocks. Wonder, wonder if anybody ever brings their RC trucks to the skate parks, you know, because the ramps might work really good for my Traxxas Max, or even for Tater Tot. Uh, yeah, there's something here, guys. There is something very strange here at someone's uh, private residence. They really like bicycle reflectors. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh, this is, this is strange. This is weird. This is some Ellensburg art for you. Don't miss this one, guys. All the keys and, and locks and stuff. Um, I'm gonna respect their private property at least, but they've got heads on a spike above. <laughs> There's a big old hand waving out the side of the house there. A big hand. Oh, this is weird. Hey, here we go. Dick and Jane's Spot. Welcome to Dick and Jane's Spot. It's a work in progress for 44 years. Well, I mean, whatever it does, it is obviously doing it now. Somebody's taking our picture over there. <laughs> Very nice. Why have an ordinary front yard when you can be incredibly strange and quirky? Life is but a dream. Wow, guys. Very nice. Sign says, what is this place? Oh, cool, they got a guest book. I am totally gonna sign this awesome guest book. Look at that. That is really neat. Let's do it. Quirky. Love it. Nomadic. Fanatic. Cops, hold, hold this. All right, let's head back to where we left the RV. I think I know where that's at. Make sure the air conditioning's still working in there. And then uh, we're gonna be heading towards Yakima. I made a uh, harvest host reservation. Uh, Yakima is, is famous 
for uh, a main ingredient of uh, beer. So uh, do a little bit more traveling, then we'll get parked and settled. I I've always said to, to people, you know, come to Washington State, it's beautiful and green and full of trees, but you have to specify because again, once you get on the other side of Snoqualmie Pass, everything changes <laughs> to me. This doesn't feel like Washington State. This feels like Arizona. Like it is, uh, I guess it, I guess it's a different beauty. Uh, to me, it's just, yeah, eh, eh. <laughs> you know, either way for me, change is always good. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to some different terrains and different temperatures and climates and just everything that always resets me and makes me feel a lot better. So change is okay. Yeah, I love Harvest Host, guys. They're such a great way to boondock and also get some kind of an experience. And uh, I've already gone in and checked in. And uh, as you can see, I've got my backpack on, which has Opie in the back. Tara's gonna be inside with some air conditioning. I may bring her in later, but uh, she's just not as, not as social as Opie. So uh, there it is, Hop Capital Brewing. Hop Capital, because it is the national uh, hop country here in uh, Yakima Valley. All right, uh, ping pong here and uh, a big, huge craft brewery bar here in Yakima, guys. Tonight they are doing uh, trivia night. So that starts at 6 p.m. I'm here right as they open. So these are all the, the tables for, for, for trivia night. And, uh, oh, hey, Opie. How you doing, buddy? You can come out in just a minute. Just want to show the place a little bit. 24 craft brews from Yakima are available here, guys. And uh, one of them's out of order. Uh, not ski ball, beer ball. I've never seen beer ball. I love it. All right, what do you think, Opie? You can't be jumping out and being crazy, though, okay? No kitties allowed on the table. That's how you're with Dad here. Starting with an IPA, the uh, wizard here. Hey, don't you do it. Don't you do it. And keep an eye on this little bugger. Oh yeah, Yakima Valley Hops. That's good stuff. Yeah, buddy. You are already so well behaved. Wow. What a good bar kitty. Yeah, him's a good bar boy. Yeah, you can tell Tara how a good boy you were? Yeah. That's a good boy. <laughs> you make me happy, Opie. Yeah. Your sister makes me happy too, but she's just, she's a little different and that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You gonna check out everything? Make sure there's no ground scores. Make sure nobody left anything on the ground. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, geez. Garlic chicken wings. <laughs> oh, but you wouldn't like it. It's delicious. I had to close this because you're being naughty and trying to get away. You gotta wait till I eat. You're gonna give us a little wooden fork. Get your fingers all dirty. Dump it on the floor. Nice, and when you finish the beer, it says Hop Capital Brewing on the bottom. The Wizard IPA was good, but you guys know how much I love my mango beers. This is a mango kiwi beer. Local, guys. We're gonna need a mop over here. Let's go on the floor. I, I like it. Kiwi, mango. Mmm, mmm, that is really good. All right, I'll try a little bit here. I'm gonna try a little bit of garlic. Oh, weird. Kitties like garlic? Oh, okay. Good boy, you got some garlic as, you got some garlic in in ya. Well, at least you're not a vampire. Are you, let me see your teeth. I don't know, you might be still be. I may have found your kryptonite. Oh man. By the way, I just heard from my friends, Bill and Amanda from St. Augustine. Uh, Amanda is deaf and she told me that she thinks that that sign that the chimp was making is friend. There, it, it's a two part thing, but uh, pro probably means friend. So Washo was saying that we're his friend. I'm gonna pack it up and take Opie back and check in on Tara and then I'll probably be back for trivia night tonight, but I'm not gonna film that. You gotta go potty. You might have to go potty. He's been scratching this. You can't, no. You're being rambunctious. No, I can't trust you. I don't trust him. Now it's 94 degrees at 4 p.m. with a projected high of 88. <laughs> the only good thing about it is it's a very dry heat here in Eastern Washington. 
does not have any of those nasty, moist humidity effects of uh, Illinois, Missouri, or uh, Florida from last summer. <laughs> so at least it's not that bad, but I guarantee you in, in my next video, guys, we are going to find a body of water to dunk because it's going to get hotter. There's a couple last days here in August that are actually going to be in the upper 90s here in central Washington and central Oregon. So Opie, you got to go potty? All right, we're gonna go, buddy. Oh, that AC feels so good. Let's see if he goes straight to the potties. You're free. Yeah, you're free. You can go potties. Oh, yeah, he had, to... no, no, going to the water bowl. Where are you going, buddy? You can go tell Tara and brag. Oh, you putts, I thought you had to go to potties. You didn't even go to potties. You monster, here. Let me take this harness off. You don't need to wear that all the time. Although I don't mind you getting used to it. Good boy. Good boy. Go tell Tara. There hers is. Here you go, Tara. You get dinner first, Tara. There you go, Tara. It's in your bowl. T no, you missed your spot. You missed your opportunity. Here you go. You can go second then. Because I, I guess Opie was a little hungry. He did good in there. I know you would have done good too, but I don't want to stress you out. You're kind of sensitive about those kinds of things. All right, my good, good kitties. I'm going to go ahead and close this one out, guys. I want to do some editing for a few hours. And like I said, head back in there for trivia night. Uh, I guarantee you in my next video, I will show you what is on the back of my RV between the RV and Tater Tot in my next video as we go soak. So I'll see you in a few days. Be well from Opie and Tara and I. Please consider giving me a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And leave a comment and say anything you want as long as it's nice. Bye, guys.